A little while ago, I uh, went over the bars and I kind of compromised my helmet. Right there, yeah. Landed on my head. Figured, I think this helmet's right about done, so let's get a new helmet on order. Is that upside down? It's upside down. <laughs> I guess by the title of this video, you already know what's in this. This is a Pac Coron Air. Coron Air, Coron Air, Coron Air. I got the ML. Comes in, I think, four different sizes. So here it is. This is the unboxing of my Pac Coron Air Spin. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. A nice uh, white bag that's gonna get filthy if uh, first time you use it. And it looks like it's got a bunch of custom pads to adjust the fitting. So that's all that's in the box. Let's crack this guy open. Looks like we've got this little POC tab right here. Just a fabric bag. Let's see what we got inside. All right, let's get a close up of that. Got this sweet little mesh here. I guess that's just kind of keep some of the junk out. All right, let's take a look at that clasp. You can see that? Pop that open. So it looks like this front vent right here, is, this is really, I guess, for your mouth, for your breathing. Then we've got these side vents right here, and the side vents look like they open up into the cheek pad. So the vent on the outside, and then on the inside, it looks like I can see, see through that right there. So I guess you get that airflow to kind of keep your head cool. And then we look at some of the top vents. Uh, inside, there's kind of two little holes right here for your forehead. It's got some venting right here to help cool your forehead. If I look inside, I can see, see out that these are just, I guess, let some of that hot air out. They talk about this breakaway feature. But there's no adjustment for this guy right here, so it's just either one position, but I guess in the case of a crash, this thing flips away, and if you look at this, there's a little keyhole slot. This thing will probably just come right out to kind of protect this thing from getting broken. They talk about EPP multi-impact liner, so that's kind of, I guess, the foam material. It's supposed to, I guess, have a memory to it, so if it's impacted, it will uh, go back to its previous shape. So. I guess another way of saying it that I read was if your helmet is impacted, if you strike that helmet in the same place again, instead of that energy getting distributed to the foam in the helmet, that goes straight to your skull and your helmet really isn't protecting you. So if your helmet isn't protecting you, you're kind of defeating the purpose of wearing the helmet, right? Just looking at the different types of materials, it looks like you've got some kind of injection or blow molded plastic on the outside. You've got some nice decals. Well, they're they talk about their spin. It's supposed to help with some of the rotational forces. So when you crash, some of that twisting on your neck, it's supposed to help relieve that. Looks like you've got like, a, it's a different material. Looks like at the base and around the edges. So I don't know how that's gonna weather well if this will yellow before this. The soft material lines this whole bottom edge. So if you wanna put this down, maybe like on your, on your car or something like that, um, I don't think it'll scratch your car. Very cool. Looking on the back side of it, kind of check that out. They've got more logos and decals. Comes the bag. The bag doesn't have any uh, any like gaudy logos or anything. Just got that subtle little pock tag, and it comes with a bunch of pads. All right, so this is some of the uh, the instructions for the pads. The pads insert behind on the interior of the liner. And from what I understand, the liner is able to be taken out. Let's try the fitment on the pot corner. Pulling on the straps and I'm gonna clasp the buckle. Cool, there it is, how do I look? Here's the front shot, the side shot, the back shot, and the other side shot. So I'd say for the fit, this does push on my cheeks a lot more than my previous helmet. Supposedly the cheek pads can come out, the safety feature, but I do feel safe in this helmet. So next I wanna try it on with sunglasses and goggles. Give this a shot. I like to wear protective lenses to keep, to keep the debris out of my face. 
So as far as sunglasses go, it actually almost feels like there's a place for the, uh, the legs of your sunglasses to go. But as far as where the sunglasses go, they feel okay. They don't, I don't, it doesn't feel like they put any additional pressure on my nose or on, on my temples. So also I've got goggles. There aren't any vents that are lost by your goggles being uh, in place on your helmet. Putting the goggles down. I guess all in all, I'd say it feels pretty good. It feels very secure. So far, I mean, I just kind of opened it. I don't really know <laughs> how safe it, it may or may not be. Let's go ahead and take the stuff off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Just kind of lives up there. I like that. Cool. Very nice. Let's take everything off. Oh, that's pretty slick. That is going to do it for my unboxing of the Pock Coron Air. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I guess I'll see you guys out on the trail. All right, let's go.